Let's unpack my London Aerostar bag. In August, I went to all five nights of the Aeros Tour in London, and I have not unpacked my Aeros Tour bag since that final night, so I thought we could unpack it together. And along the way, I'll share my top tips and advice on what I found really helpful to have in my own bag. After going five nights in a row, I felt like I got a really good idea of what was helpful and what was not. So if you're going to one of the upcoming remaining Aeros Tour shows, and or if you're just going to another stadium tour in the future, then I hope this can be helpful. And if you want any of the items that I mentioned in this video, then I'll link all the ones that I bought myself below so that you can go check them out for yourself. So let's go. Hello, my name is Becca and here on this channel you can find bite size inspo mainly to do with Taylor Swift. I actually made and unpacked my Aeros Tour bag with me after I went to my first Aeros Tour show last year in May of 2023. I went to Philly night two. That was up until August the best night of my life and now it's on par with the week that I had of going to the London shows. So this will probably be similar to that video but updated with five more nights of experience. I'll start off by saying that you should definitely check the stadium's requirements for the show that you're going to. So whether you're going to the Aeros Tour in the US or in Canada or another stadium tour in the future, make sure that you check that specific stadium's website and there'll be a section on the website where they go through the rules and regulations and what you're allowed to bring into that stadium. Every stadium is different, so you just want to make sure that you're adhering to the rules and regulations of that stadium. To me, some of the regulations of the US stadiums were a little bit stricter than the UK's requirements in my experience. So I had gotten this bag, actually my sister got it for me because she's the one who got us tickets to Philly Night 2. She is a whiz, but she got us the tickets to Philly Night 2 and that stadium did require a clear bag. Wembley Stadium in London did not require a clear bag. You could have an opaque bag, but I just figured since I already had this bag and I really like this bag, I think it works really well. It does the job that you need it to do and I figured maybe it would help streamline my going through security a little bit so that they could just see instantly what I had in my bag instead of having to search through it a lot more if it's not a see-through bag. I just figured I'd use it. I do really recommend this bag. I've used it now for six Aeros Tour shows and it's still going strong. I think the strap is really nice. It's super easily adjustable, but it stays locks in place when you're not adjusting it. I like how you can easily sling it over your shoulder so that it's very close to you. It makes me feel like my items, my personal items are protected and secure and not, you know, easily taken off of my person. It's a really nice size bag. Look how much you can fit in there. Like so, so much. And it has two pockets. So there's a smaller pocket near the top that you can easily put items that you need more accessible. So I really love that feature as well. I think it's a great solid bag. It's maybe not the cutest, but you could also accessorize it and bejewel it if you wanted to. I chose not to do that, but you could easily do it if you wanted. So let's go through what I have in my bag. Right off the bat, I'll pull out the item that I think is potentially the most important item you should have in your Aeros Tour bag. You don't want to forget it. I always packed at least two, sometimes even three, because I just wanted to be extra, extra, extra sure that I was covered. Plus, I figured, you know, even if I don't need all of these, maybe another Swifty next to me could benefit from this as well. And that of course is a portable charger for your phone. You do not want to run out of battery while you're at the Aeros Tour. That's like my worst nightmare. And I'm one of those people who, if my phone is anywhere under 20%, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's about to die. I have to charge it immediately. So I always rely on portable chargers. For the last two nights, I did have three in my bag, <laughs> apparently. I did not use all three of these ever because honestly, I could have gone away with just one, I'm sure. But again, I just, I just like to be sure. I'm one of those people who likes to be covered. This charger is amazing. I have it with me all the time. And you might be like, I thought this is the first time you're unpacking your Aeros Tour bag since the Aeros Tour. You're right, it is. I have two of these. And so I use the other one all the time. It's actually in my purse that I have around with me all the time because these are incredible. Mom got them from some store. I honestly don't even know where she got them from, but I use them almost every single day of my life. I'll find a link to it and put them below, but I could not recommend this more. And this is absolutely not sponsored at all. I just, this has saved my life so many times. So it has a collapsible plug, so you can fold it in so it's not 
sticking out and in the way, which is really nice. You can just plug it in to charge. So I'll plug it in and charge it every night or so. Definitely plug it in the night before your show so that it's fully charged. And you can see if it's fully charged by the number of lit up lights on the side there's four lights right now it's half charged but that's what's so cool about this charger so once it's fully charged you can plug so many different things in it so it has a usb it has a i don't even know what is this port called i should know but it's like how you charge a lot of laptops these days it's the circular kind of opening so you can plug in either of those so if you have a usb charging cord you can just plug it in easily like that and then oh i have my phone right here as well so you can just charge it on the other end, easily done. But you don't even have to do that if you don't wanna deal with really long wires, which maybe you do because you wanna put it in your bag and you want it, the cord to be long enough to reach your phone while you're filming, totally fine. Or what I always do, oops, this charging thing is kind of falling apart, so be careful with that. I never, I never use this and now you can see why. But if you don't want to deal with that, the charger itself has both a phone charger and the same circular charger that goes in here that you can like charge laptops and stuff with. It has that as well. So you can literally just plug it into your phone like this, and then you have to push the button to get it started charging. Now it's charging my phone. And then I will often, I mean, it's a little bit heavy, so it's not the most ideal, but for a lot of the shows, I was like holding it like this, which is not the best, but I mean, it works. Or you can just have it, you know, in your bag as you're charging it. If it's during a part of the show or during a break or something that you're not needing to use your phone immediately. This charger is amazing. I feel like I can get at least two full charges out of this, maybe two and a half. Could be more, to be honest. I don't remember exactly how many charges it has. If you're going a lot earlier, so I did one show where I went at 3 a.m. I actually left at like 2 a.m. so that I could get barricade for the show. So I was queuing all day long and I did not have access to a charging port anywhere at any time. So I had this with me and I had this and that was enough to get me through that whole day and night through the end of the tour and i'm sure i still had leftover juice anyways so these are amazing and some stadiums will have regulations on how large your portable charger can be so this is i would say smaller than my phone a lot of times that is the rule smaller than your phone so it's like slightly fatter than my phone but it's definitely shorter than my phone and it's decently small and lightweight so i feel like you can get away with it i actually have an even heavier larger portable charger that i'll bring on planes with me to charge my laptop it's like massive and that one i've never brought to a stadium because i feel like that's kind of too large but this one i brought to every night at wembley and it was fine i did not bring this to philly so i don't know how it works so well in american stadiums but i would say if you can at least then you have peace of mind that you have plenty of battery to get you through however long you need and it's just it's like pretty light so i think it's i think it's a great investment i cannot say enough good things about this it's from my charge and i use it all the time if you cannot get your hands on something like this or you feel like it's too big for your stadium's requirements this charger is also a lifesaver i love this little charger i borrowed this from my sister because it's hers so i need to return it to her but she super kindly let me bring it to London and what's really nice about this charger is that you can film while charging so easily so you just plug it in like that and it gives you this nice mount to still be able to film and use your phone while it's charging which is arguably way nicer than holding this huge pack while you're trying to film so I brought this to every show as well because it's just so convenient to be able to charge while you're filming this definitely does not hold as much as this. I mean, clearly, you can see the size difference. I would say maybe a full charge, maybe a little maybe a little bit more than one full charge. I'm not quite sure, but I would just use this during the show. I would use this a lot before a show or like, as I said, if I was queuing throughout the day, as you're waiting for the show to get started, when I'm not actively using my phone, I'll use this a lot. And then I wouldn't have to be carrying it. And then I would use this one during the show to keep to keep my phone going. Other quick little battery tips just while I'm talking about it is I would put my phone on airplane mode while I was charging it and even during the show sometimes as well because 
I feel like that helps preserve the battery life of your phone. It'll go through it less quickly when it's on airplane mode because it's not focused on a lot of other things. So that's how I survived. I would definitely recommend these two chargers. And then just as a backup, I never actually ended up using this one, but as a backup, my sister actually let me borrow this cute little charger as well. This one does, this one does need a charging port to go with it and try to get one that's not falling apart. So I did bring all three of those chargers with me for the last two nights just because I wanted to be sure, but I never ended up needing to use this one because the others were more than enough. So highly would recommend one or even both of these if you're concerned about battery life because I always am. These are just some fun things that went with my outfit. So not necessarily things that you would need to pack yourself, but I just packed them in here. This is, oh my gosh. This is the sign that I made. Okay, these are the signs that I made to get a ticket. <laughs> it says, looking for one ticket, please, for me. So I did this for the first three nights in London. I made a little sign. I had a different sign every night. So this was, I guess, the third night and I just left it in there because I forgot about it. So I would just stand there outside the stadium holding the sign. And I'm so, so grateful that it happened to work for me. That was a miracle every single time. But yeah, I have another video about how I got last minute tickets to the Aeros Tour. And I talk more about this whole thing and how I got those tickets. So you can go check that out if you want to. This is for my outfit on night seven. So I'm quite sure I did not bring this to night eight, but it's in my bag. So these are some cute little heart-shaped lover glasses. My sister let me borrow these. As I said, the true MVP. And I got this nice little glasses case. I think I just got this from an eye appointment once and I just kept it. It's nice and light and fits sunglasses. So I got that. This is the like ribbon I wore in my hair for my lover outfit. I wore a yellow dress and then this in my hair. And then these are the earrings I got just off of Amazon to fit the whole aesthetic. I thought that was probably one of my more successful outfits I wore that night seven so if you wanted to try to recreate something like that I can link these below I got these on Amazon and then I just got this ribbon from a what do you call it it's like a craft store in the UK it could be called hobby hobby craft I forget it's some craft store in the UK it was one pound not bad and this little compartment at the front I have a spare hair tie if you want to put your hair up after the show, my hair was pretty much always down. I brought this cute little blue pen. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, I'll tell you right now. So I brought this pen for blank space. I'll write your name. So I did this every single night, actually, because I did this in Philly. It was just a fun idea I had, and I thought it was clever. I don't know. And so I filmed doing this thing during blank space in Philly, and it went pretty viral so I just brought it to London for fun and I did it every night but I just haven't really shared it yet but maybe I will in time for this video I don't know but I just think it's a fun way to engage in the song for the 1989 era of course I got a blue one and I love these pens these are from Pilot great brand I think these pens write really well but yeah this pen now has been to six Aeros tour shows in Philly and London so I will treasure this for the rest of my life I always had a few of these Ricola honey candies, I guess. I don't know what you would really call them, but I just always had these in my bag just in case because they're quite good for like soothing your throat and going to five Aeros tour nights in a row definitely did a number on my vocal cords because you're screaming and singing and crying and laughing and all that kind of thing. Actually, the day after the final night, I did lose my voice, but I also got COVID, so I think it was all tied together but I just brought these in case I needed them. I don't know if I ever hardly use them but useful to have just in case. This one is super super important. I highly highly recommend bringing earplugs. These do not hamper your Aeros tour experience. I promise they are just going to protect and preserve your ears. My sister got us these earplugs for Philly so I did use them in Philly and I didn't use them all the time in Philly or in London either. I pretty much would use these during applause so especially the applause after champagne problems. That can get so loud in the stadium and 
as a musician who has spent my life trying to protect my ears, I just think earplugs can be so, so important. To be honest, I probably should have and could have worn them for longer periods than I did, but I would pretty much just wear it for like really, really, really loud points. I feel like the applause points would be the loudest times of the show, but I wore these always for that. And you know, if you ever feel like you need other points, you could, you can still hear Taylor, especially very clearly with these earplugs. It just kind of dampens, especially a lot of the other noise and just the overall level. It just brings it down a little bit to a little bit of a healthier level, I would say. I really like these because you can hang them around your neck and then they can just live there. And then you can easily stick them in your ears whenever you want to. And again, like I'm wearing them right now, basically it's just blocking out the lawn noise, which is never a bad thing. It's not like completely noise canceling or anything like that. It's just, it's just to help protect your ears. And I know there's other brands as well that people recommend, but I really like these and they work well for me and they're not super expensive. So plus they come in this cute little case. So I would keep these in the top pocket of my Aeros tour bag so that it's easily accessible. Okay, we're almost there. I have kept these two ponchos in my Aeros tour bag since Philly. I brought these to Philly when my sister and I went and then I just kept them in there and brought them to all five nights in London. Never ever used them, but you just never know. Could be useful. There was one night in London where it rained a tiny bit and Taylor said that if it rains more than six minutes, I specifically remember her saying six minutes because we were looking for all the reputation Easter eggs. It was not announced, but it's totally fine. But she did say if it rains longer than six minutes, then a show can constitute as a rain show. So she was calling that show a rain show. That was night seven on the 19th, and I was in the arena right at the barricade. So I was like, hey, I've been to a rain show, but it never warranted pulling out a poncho because it wasn't actually raining that hard. But I figure always useful to have just in case because you don't want to be in a situation where you're completely you know, soaked if you don't have to be, so. And then these last few items are just fun little things that I brought back. So I've got these guitar picks that I got from Scott Swift, Taylor's dad. I was standing in front of the VIP area for the final night, night eight in London. And yeah, he gave me these guitar picks. So that was really cool. I will treasure these for the rest of my life, for sure. This is one stray piece of confetti that I guess somehow got in my bag. I actually did collect a good few handfuls on the final night. It was interesting because night seven, I was literally barricade and I hardly got any confetti at all. There was like nothing in that area. But night eight, I was in the back of the VIP area by the VIP tent and there was lots of confetti around. So I did pick some up. I guess this was a stray piece. <laughs> and this is just a bag I have of fun things I brought back with me. So these are my two VIP wristbands. This was for night seven when I was in the front standing VIP. And then this was for night eight. I was on the right side VIP, I believe. Oh yeah, it does say front standing right. And as you went in, you would have to have your wristband up so that the security could see that you're in the right section. These must be from the last few nights I've got my wristbands and I did put the little tabs back into all of them so that should I see if it will light up again? What if it doesn't? But well, okay, why not? Why not? So let's see. <gasps> Ooh, it's blue and yellow. Oh, so it'll be like rainbow. Yeah, it's like all the colors. Hee <laughs> So I can make these light up anytime. It's like a little piece of the Ares tour to save forever. Always, always, always save your little tab. You can pull it out and use it for the show, of course, and then just at the end of the night, just put the tab back in and it'll preserve it for you. So I'm very glad for all the Swifties who gave that tip in the past. And finally, these are all of the friendship bracelets that I got, I guess, just on the last two nights. See, some are super nice. But yeah, I have one for Gold Rush, which actually I was gonna give this to my sister because she loves Gold Rush. I'll leave that out for her. This is just a nice, simple white one. Never Grow Up. And there's Lavender Haze. Jump Then Fall. I love that song. This is a nice, simple gold. My, it just says My Ricochet. 
I wonder if these things in the middle are meant to be tears. My tears ricochet. Lover. The moment I knew. New Year's Day, cold as you. Love story with a cute little, cute little pendant there. Cardigan. This one is nice because it's like memory wire, I think is what it's called. It's 22, the 22 hat. How did it end? Oof, such a good song. Oh, and then these are a few I made that I guess I never ended up giving away. I've got Long Live, So Long London, <laughs> London Boy, Enchanted, and ah, this was the one I made for Taylor. It says, thank you, Dr. Swift. I was like, if I ever get the 22 hat, <laughs> I'll give it to Taylor. So those are the friendship bracelet. Oh, and I forgot to mention this one because it wasn't in my bag while filming, but I did also bring a disposable camera. I still need to get my photos developed, so I'm not quite sure how they turned out, but I think it's such a fun and budget-friendly way to get some different kinds of Aeros Tour shots. And then the only other thing that I did have in here that I don't have in here now because I use it in my purse every day is my ID and a credit card. So you could have those with you as well. Yeah, that's what I packed in my Aeros Tour bag. As you can see, it's quite full. I would say you could also see if there's regulations on bringing in food or drink and if there's not you could try to bring that in. I know for Wembley Stadium you could bring in an empty water bottle like an empty plastic water bottle but the queues to fill up your water bottle were so so long so I just I did it once and then I didn't want to wait in that queue so I just didn't bother. I just ended up buying water every night from the stadium. It was like three pounds in the UK so I thought that was decently reasonable compared to what I remember it being in Philly. And then I always just got dinner at the stadium as well. I figure embrace the experience. And I could also fit my phone in with all of this. You know, it's so full, but phone easily fits in there. And I will point this out because I think it's quite fun to have for the Ares tour. I love these Taylor Swift themed phone cases, which I have a whole nother video reviewing the three that I got sent from Linda from Pop Clings by Linda, but I adore these cases. I have this one, So Long London. I have a folklore one and I have a Torture Poets Department one and I've been obsessed and been using them since she sent them to me some months ago. But yeah, since London, I have had this So Long London case on my phone. I put this on for the last night of the Ares tour and have not been able to bring myself to take it off because means so much to me but i think it's really fun to have a phone case that fits the heiress tour experience and these cases are really fun because they do light up i don't know if you can see because it's very light it does light up <laughs> so you could have that as well i'll put a video in showing you a closer look but these are quite fun so if you wanted to get something like that for your heiress tour show or just to show that you're a swifty in life in general when you're carrying around your phone. I've gotten asked about my phone cases a number of times and it always makes me really happy. So you could check out that website. I do have a discount code if you wanted to use that as well. But yeah, I feel like they're a perfect way to dress up your phone for the Aeros Tour. So if you want to check that out, then I'll link it below. So that's what was in my London Aeros Tour bag. Thanks so much for unpacking it with me. I hope that is helpful, that it might give you some ideas. I'll link everything below so that you can easily find it if you want to pick up anything for yourself. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you have found super, super helpful to have in your own Airs Tour stadium tour bag. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!